I was not born into a musical family. In fact, I had to bargain with my parents to get access to, a, to an instrument. In finding music, I really found my people. I asked to play the viola, thinking that it was a smaller and higher pitched instrument than the violin, and when I got it, was a little bit surprised. The surprise led to curiosity, and I fell in love with the sound. I came to realize that it was really fortuitous I should be a, a violist because it's an inner voice. I learned teamwork through, through musicianship, and I also learned how to express myself when words didn't quite hit the mark, and as a teenager, that's pretty much all the time. I developed problems with my right hand. It was an overuse injury. I knew that I wanted to remain involved in the music world, so I called the general manager of the LA Philharmonic and said, I asked her if she needed an intern, which they did. And for the next two years, I, I moved around from department to department, getting what was, I think was my practicum, uh, my first experience to what life as an administrator might be like and quickly gravitated towards programming because it, it gave me the opportunity to remain very close to what happens on stage. I think a lot about performing as, as a metaphor for leadership. There are moments when one is, is out front, um, has prominence, but then there are moments when you, you have to sit back and let others take over and just provide the support that allows them to shine. And I think of this role as being uh, a, an administrative manifestation of what performance is like. <laughs>